Hi, Orange Girl here with another scrapbooking process video for you. I'm working with some paper that I purchased from Paper Issues today, and I'm going to be making my title page for my December daily. Um, I started, I got this paper in the mail and immediately got busy working on my December daily, and I hadn't really started it yet, other than I have my ideas and I had kind of recorded in my brain and a little bit on the computer what I wanted my first few stories to be. But when this paper came in the mail, and it is sloth paper, and if you know me at all, you know that I love sloths. And so when that sloth paper came, I went, oh, there's my title page. Um, <laughs> so uh, I went ahead and cut it at to 8.25 by 4.25 because I'm doing a... My December daily this year is going to be um, using Traveler's Notebook um, style, and I'm using, it's bound by th two rings, and I purchased it from um, Colorcast Designs, and it's actually, the cover is actually designed by Ashley Horton, who owns um, and designs for the cut shop, so... Um, anyway, I am using that and I have my papers all cut and ready to go, but I hadn't picked out a favorite for my title page yet. And then when this came in the mail, I was like immediately knew exactly what, what I wanted to do. So I went ahead and cut it and then I cut a piece of vellum and with a little slice at the top in a diagonal so that I could fit a tag in there. I did my journaling on my computer and I printed it out. I'm using the font um, Remington Noiseless. I went ahead and I put it, I glued it a little, the vellum down a little bit, but then I went ahead and I zipped my computer, or not my computer, nope, my sewing machine all the way around the outside. And now um, I am going to put this word joy on it. And I, underneath the word joy, I really wanted to put a little bit of messy um, stitching so that, um, two, two reasons. One, I just like the way it looked behind the word joy. I couldn't really put it over joy because of the, the acrylic doesn't really go through the sewing machine very well. I'm using some red line tape here to put on the back of the word, and I'm going to use that to put it down onto the vellum. I decided not to use, normally I would probably use, um, liquid adhesive. It works really well for acrylics, but um, I don't like using it on vellum very much, so I'm not going to do that. Anyway, so the other purpose of that, besides decorative, is um, it also holds my journaling in and holds it up towards the top so it can't go down to the bottom, so it doesn't get um, stuck down. So it helps with the design as well as it's functional. So anyway, the reason I chose this Joy is because I mean, it actually also came from paper issues and when I saw it with that paper I was like oh, I love that together and it just worked completely with my whole idea of what I want this December journal for for me to be. Um, if you're not familiar with December Daily it is um, something that Allie Edwards created and I will link that below like I don't know, like 11 or 12 years ago, I'm thinking, is when she started. And I've done it several years. I've never really completed it. But I've also never regretted what I've gotten done. <laughs> um, I always appreciate having any memories um, recorded. So even if I don't finish, although this year I feel like I might, um, I just uh, appreciate the project so much. And I respect... Allie and all those that actually complete their journal, their um, albums every year so much for, for taking the time to get all these really important memories down and recorded. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adding a little bit of washi from my stash around the outside. It's just to decorate it a little bit, give it a little bit of color. Um, my journaling, um, like I said, it kind of fits the joy <laughs> theme really well. Um, as many of you know, if you follow my channel, we did lose my father earlier this year. Um, I've also been kind of down and depressed just about life in general, um, the world <laughs> and all of that. So 
Um, this year I really wanted, I wasn't really looking forward to Christmas and the holidays and, but trying to be a positive person, I decided, well, what you really need to do is you just need to find joy and find it wherever you can. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've gone through periods of time where I've been posting a lot about joy. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to add 2018 underneath the word joy here with these numbers that are by American Crafts. But my journaling anyway says, dear, I decided to use um, a letter format just for my first title page. There's someone that I follow on Instagram, I'll link her account below, that does all of her um, journaling, I think throughout her whole December Daily is um, letters which is really cool. And I decided that I would go ahead and do that just to start um, my whole album. I'm not going to do it on every page, just, just the beginning. And so I wrote a letter to December. It says, Dear December, just like that, you are here again. I must admit that I have not been looking forward to you, but yet here you are. My hope is for this holiday season to be filled with traditions and joy, even with missing pieces. I will choose joy and look for it every single day of the season. I will embrace the joyful moments, look for reasons to celebrate. Love me. And there are the close-ups. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Look for day one and two coming soon to my channel.